What's going on guys? It's Harrison and Evan from the Wildlife Brothers. And today we're out here in Eastern Pennsylvania working with one of our favorite snake species, the Northern Water Snake. Now, there are water snake species found all over the United States, and recently we had the opportunity to film down in Southern Florida where we got a very special individual in front of the cameras. While on location, we had the opportunity to film one of Florida's most iconic water snake species, the banded water snake. This species was one of our biggest targets for our trip down in Florida, and we were so excited to get it on camera. So without further ado, let's take a look at the banded water snake. On you, on you. Alright, it's under here. I'll tell you what it is, then I'll go for the grab. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. I see it, I see it. I think that's, that might be. Is that it what I think it is? my dream. Right here. Oh that my god. banded water snake. That is oh, a banded yeah. water snake. Oh god. Careful, bro. Careful now. That is a banded water snake. Alright, guys. You have no idea how exciting this is. When Evan and I first said that we were coming to Florida, my personal dream species was this individual right here, Nerodia fasciata, the banded water snake. All right, I'm gonna compose myself and let's get a segment. So as I called out when I grabbed him, this guy is the banded water snake, one of our target species for our Florida trip. And one of the reasons for that is I find this snake to be absolutely beautiful. Now if you take a look at his body there, he has gorgeous copper banding which gives the species its name and that keel scale pattern is absolutely stunning. Now when I first grabbed him, I had to do a quick ID to make sure that he was a non-venomous snake species and the way I did that is I looked at his eyes. Now you notice that he has round pupils, whereas the cottonmouth, the venomous snake species that water snakes are often confused for, has vertical pupils that look like the eyes of a cat. Now we found this guy out near a little lake. This guy primarily lives around water, so you'll find them in swamps, by river systems, lakes, anywhere where there are permanent bodies of water. And you can find them from Indiana in the Midwest all the way down through southern Florida. So this is a species that is predominantly found in the southeastern United States. Now the banded water snake is a piscivorous species, meaning that they're mostly going to be eating fish, though they'll also take small amphibians such as frogs, though like most water snakes, they form the mid-tier trophic level here in the southern Florida ecosystem. They're going to be preyed upon by things like large turtles, alligators, and particularly herons and other wading birds. Now they do have a few defense mechanisms aside from their camouflage. You can see he would blend in to the leaf litter quite well. However, they also musk. Now that's basically where they're going to be pooping to try and get that acrid taste and smell uh, in the mouth of their predator and that would actually give them a chance to escape. And they also have an anticoagulant in their saliva and basically what that'll do is if he were to bite me, the, the wound would not stop bleeding for a considerable amount of time compared to any normal open cut. So that also allows them to hopefully escape from a predator. Though in reality, even though these guys are often mistaken for the venomous cottonmouth, you have absolutely nothing to fear from this species. They are completely placid. As you can see, this guy's just sitting here in my hands puppy dog tame. So as Evan mentioned, the banded water snake is one of the most placid snake species that you can find out here in southern Florida. And this is exactly what we want to show you guys, that snakes are not an animal that you need to be afraid of. Now I understand that it can be difficult for someone who doesn't work with reptiles to mistake a snake like the banded water snake for a cottonmouth, but in reality, these guys will always stay out of your way as long as you observe them from a respectful distance. This guy has not struck at us. This guy has not musked on us. He has been an absolute sweetheart. And this is the nature of these snakes. They're just genuinely nice animals. So it has been an absolute treat to get to work with one of my favorite water snake species here in Southern Florida. And we're gonna let this guy go in a minute. And this is exactly what we wanted to show you, that you can come out here and observe these animals in the wild and have a beneficial interaction with these animals. All right, so we're gonna let this guy go now. 
and you can get back to your daily business. See you, buddy. We hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the banded water snake. It was a fascinating species and an absolute pleasure every time we could get it in front of the cameras. So if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you guys thought of this awesome species. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers now because we have so much content coming out soon, more from Florida, more from Costa Rica, and a lot more from here in Eastern Pennsylvania with beautiful animals like this water snake. So we will see you guys in another episode.